December's here. Christmas is coming up. I want to wish you guys a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. Today, I got a raise your macro video for you guys. I'll also be showing you guys how to macro abuse in this video. I've also noticed a lot of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys will subscribe, that'll help us hit our goal and being eligible to earn money on YouTube. I know a lot of you guys like the content because it sure enough gets views, but we're not getting a lot of likes or subscribes. So if you guys will do that and we'll get into the video and I hope you guys have a good one. Open any browser, go to Razer Synapse 3, link will be in the description. Once we're on this page, we'll see Synapse 3, we can go ahead and download now. Run the installer. Make sure Razer Synapse is the only one selected, then we can press install. Skip and continue. Then wait for the installation. After the installation, we can press get started. It'll ask us to restart the computer. We can go ahead and restart that now. Once back, it'll ask us to sign up, log in, or continue as guest. For the purpose of the video, I'm a continuous guest. Once we see this page here, we can press skip, press modules on the top here, scroll down till we see macro, press add, install and restart. Now that we installed the macro, we can go to the very top and press on macro. And this is where we will import our macro when we download it. The download from my macro will be in my Discord server. You guys can find that in the link in the description. Once we're in the Discord, we can scroll down and find macro channel. Once we're in the macro channel, we can scroll up and we'll see the hood macros, Razor Synapse 3 through 4. And then here we can install the file. Now that we got the Razor macro file installed, we can go to Razor Synapse again. Press macro on the top. So now that we're here, we can import the file. Press import. Select the file we just downloaded. We'll see macro one. It should have these delays. And then we can add a key bind here. Make sure it's a macro supported device. This could be a mouse or keyboard. We'll select the device. I'm going to pick my mouse button. And then we can pick a playback option. You can choose between toggle or hold. I like to use hold. You guys can probably figure this out if you have an IQ higher than 10. And then press save. And then now we should see one bind. And then we should see mouse button or whatever button you binded it to. We can also check my mouse here. And see that I have the macro binded. Before we try and macro, we need to go to settings, check our stats, and make sure this bar is completely empty. If it isn't empty like showing on screen, you guys need to come to Hood Fitness here. And then once you're inside, you guys need to eat this lettuce over and over for about 5 minutes or so. And then reset your character and then check your stats again like I do on screen. After resetting, the bar should update. It should be completely empty like this. If not, then you need to eat more. We can also turn on low GFX. I already have it on, but it shows it's off, but it's on. So we can go to Roblox settings. And then make sure our maximum frame rate is at the highest it can go. So we'll select 240. And then make sure our graphics quality is down to two bars. Now we can also check our FPS and make sure we're pulling over at least 80 frames for a decent macro. Now we need to animation the macro. This is one of the animations we can use. Young Blood Happier Jump. This is one of the smoother ones that I recommend. 
The second is Moonwalk. This animation is known for being really fast in the macro, but it tends to fling a lot. For the Youngblood Happier Jump emote, all this requires is being able to do the emote. Pulling at an item and putting it away. And when we put those two together, this is what it looks like. And that's what you call a macro, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that now. This requires a little bit of timing, and I'll be showing the timing here. As soon as my foot steps forward, that's when you want to pull out the item and put it away. As soon as my foot steps forward, as you can see. So now from what I just showed you, we're going to do that once. So we're going to do it once. Hold S on the keyboard, hold right click so we can look around, zoom in with the mouse, and then press our macro button. Make sure you continue to hold S and right click because this is what is needed to macro. Even though you're walking backwards, whenever you press the macro button, that's what sends you forward even though you're holding S. Now for the moonwalk macro, this one's super easy to do. All you need to do is just the emote. Pull out an item and put it away like before. So when we put those two together, it looks like this. And then we do our macro. And I'll be showing you guys that now. The timing is super easy on this one. It's just basically while your body's moving like that, you just pull out the item and put it away while your body's moving. Now that we got that down, we can do what we just learned. Now we can hold S again, hold right click so we can control, zoom in with the mouse, and then press our macro button. Depending on how you time it, you can get the macro to go way faster than this. Specifically with the moonwalk emote, when you're jumping around and macroing, it adds like a really cool movement that you don't get with other emotes. Now for the macro views, there's two different things that make this difference. So when I do the emote, I'm only pulling the item out. I'm not going to put it away. As simple as that. So now the second thing is aiming down like this. I double click super fast. As you can see, I'm able to look around with the mouse without actually aiming down the sights. And this is exactly what we want. I'll be showing a more in depth on how to get this to work in a second. So here you just double click and hold. As you can see, I'm just double clicking and holding really fast and you can get it just like that. If you're doing it wrong or too slow, it'll look like this. You want the crosshair to be fully zoomed out like that and that's how you know you got it to work when it's zoomed out and you're able to look around. So one more time for you guys, do our emote, leave our weapon out. We can walk out of our animation, do the double click. Now while we're double clicking and holding, we can walk back, zoom in, and hold our macro button, and just like that, we're macro abusing. That brings this video to an end. I uh, thank you guys all for watching. Let's all subscribe so we can hit the eligibility goal on YouTube so we can start earning, and I hope you guys have a good one. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.